Hola besties, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So we're like a week and a half into November. I haven't been book shopping yet, which I go book shopping at least once a month. That's my thing. So today we're going book shopping and I'm so excited. So I'm gonna show you guys my outfit because it's kinda cute, it's kinda cute. Here is my little OTD for the day. So I'm wearing like a really cute slick back because I've been really into like the whole clean girl aesthetic with like a slick back lately. Then I'm wearing like these little baby hoops from Target it's from their A New Day collection. And then I'm wearing um, a Hansa necklace. Then just a regular black um, crop top. Then I'm wearing like a knitted cardigan because it's a little chilly today. So I'm wearing a knitted cardigan from Boohoo. I'm wearing like these really cute yoga pants and they make my butt look really good <laughs> and then i'm wearing like my gray ugg boots because ugg boots are back and they look really cute so that's pretty much my otd just something real simple real cute so let's go <laughs> besties already introduced this vlog but i kind of just want to tell you guys exactly what we're doing today so i'm in my car right now today we're going book shopping and i'm so excited because i go book shopping at least once a month haven't been book shopping yet it, we're like two weeks into november and i haven't been book shopping yet so today we're going to barnes and noble target and second and charles maybe i'm not sure yet but i'm so excited because i'm in a bit of a book deficit right now so like <laughs> we need some books okay so i'm gonna stop rambling and let's go to barnes and noble spicy books the off-campus series by l kennedy is such a really good like all of these are really good i've read these three and the score i haven't read the legacy yet but i'm also buying the goal right now i really want to read this new alina armis book because i loved the spanish love deception Alrighty guys, the lighting's a little bit harsh, but I just got out of Barnes & Noble and I got three books. They had a little sale. They had to buy one, get one 50% off, which I feel like I needed that. Okay, I needed that. But right now, I think we're going to go to Target. secured i went to target i got three books from there 27 dollars. i got a clip of how good the little markdowns are i'm telling you guys target is such a good place to shop for books if you're not trying to spend a lot of money on books and you want like new books i'm telling y'all i'm telling y'all <laughs> I had 
had to run home because of daylight savings i'm like i need to get my content before it gets dark so it's literally like three o'clock but it's already looking like sunset okay what's going on <laughs> anyway so as you guys know i went to barnes and noble and i went to target i was gonna go to second and charles but it's like Actually, it's like 50 minutes from my house, which I was like, you know what? We're gonna not go to Second and Charles today because obviously it's getting a little dark and I spent a little bit longer in Barnes and Noble than I thought I would. So I'm gonna give you guys my little haul because that's why you guys are here. So first book I got is Twisted Games by Anna Hong, which I've been wanting to read the series. I started it, I think like a month, two months ago. I started Twisted Love, I believe. And so now I got Twisted Games, which is the second book. It's book two. Um, and I don't really know like the characters. I know very little about this entire series other than the fact that I read the first book and I really, really liked it. Um, and so I'm gonna read the synopsis like I do in every one of my book shopping videos. So. Perhaps I was always meant to find my way to you. Stoic, broody, and arrogant, elite bodyguard, Rise. Okay, okay, I'm remembering. I'm remembering. Um, Rise Larson has two rules. One, protect his clients at all costs. And two, do not become emotionally involved ever. He has never been tempted to break those rules until her. Which I believe this was the bodyguard for the princess, which is very random because why is there a princess in the story? But I'm here for it. Bridget von Ashberg, Ashberg, a princess with a stubborn streak that matches his own and a hidden fire that reduces his rules to ash. She has nothing he expected and everything he never knew he needed. Day by day, inch by inch, she breaks down his defenses until he's faced with a truth he can no longer deny. He swore an oath to protect her, but all he wants is to ruin her. Oh my god. <laughs> but she's his, his princess, his forbidden fruit, his every deprived fantasy. Regal, strong-willed, and bound by chains of duty, Princess Bridget dreams of the freedom to live and love as she chooses. But when her brother abdicates, she's suddenly faced with the prospect of loveless, politically expedited marriage and a throne she never wanted. And as she navigates the intricacies and treacheries of her new role, she must hide her desire for a man she can't have, her bodyguard, her protector, her ultimate ruin. Okay, now that I read the synopsis, I'm remembering a lot about, you know, this was kind of involved in like the first book. We learned a little bit about like the new um, princess and like her new bodyguard because like the other bodyguard, I think his wife was having a baby or something like that. So I'm really excited to read this. It sounds like this is how you write a synopsis, okay? And then I also got The Goal by L. Kennedy. This is from the Off Campus series, which I've been reading for like months because I feel like the books are so scarce, especially because like I usually go to Target to get them and like they're never at Target and if they are, it's like one. And then by the time I get there, it's sold out. I'll read the synopsis as well. College senior Sabrina James has her whole future planned out. Graduate from college, kick butt in law school, and land a high paying job at a cutthroat firm. Her path to escaping her shameful past certainly doesn't include a gorgeous hockey player who believes in love at first sight. One night of sizzling heat and surprising tenderness is all she's willing to give John Tucker. But sometimes one night is all it takes for your entire life to change. Okay, that's kind of dramatic. But the game just got a whole lot more complicated. John Tucker believes being a team player is as important as being the star. On the ice, he's fine, staying out of the spotlight, but when it comes to becoming a daddy at the age of 22, girl what? He refuses to be a bench warmer. It doesn't hurt that the soon-to-be mother of his child is beautiful, whip smart, and keeps him on his toes. The problem is, Sabrina's heart is locked up tight. The fiery brunette is too stubborn to accept his help. So is she... <gasps> she she got she had his baby girl what is going on hold on if he wants a life with the woman of his dreams he'll have to convince her that some goals can only be made with an assist oh my god this is kind of crazy you gotta admit this is crazy the goal by l kennedy i'm so excited to read this i did not know one of the players had a baby 
I feel like this was probably mentioned in one of the books though. I don't know. I might have missed it, but the girl by L. Kennedy. Then another book that was included in the buy one get one 50% off was this book and it's by Tessa Bailey and it's Love Her or Lose Her. And I really only got this book because the characters were like black or brown. I don't really know. They look black. So it was like, what? Tessa Bailey has a black characters and I love her writing. New York best-selling author Tessa Bailey returns with a unique sexy romantic comedy about a young married couple whose rocky relationship needs serious renovation. So that's basically the synopsis right there. Okay. Rosie and Dominic Vega are the perfect couple. High school sweethearts, best friends, madly in love. Well, they used to be anyway. Now Rosie's lucky to get a caveman grunt from the ex-soldier every time she walks into the door. Dom is faithful and a great provider, but the man she fell in love with 10 years ago is nowhere to be found. When Rosie's girlfriends encourage her to demand more out of life and pursue her dream of opening a restaurant, she decides to demand more out of love as well. Three words, marriage boot camp. Never in a million years did Rosie believe her stoic, too manly to emote husband would actually agree to a relationship rehab with a weed-smoking hippie. This sounds so good. I'm also really excited to read this. I feel like I really did really good with my book shopping because sometimes I buy books and I'm like, I know I won't like that, but I'm trying to expand my horizons. But all the books I got are mostly romance books. Actually, they're all romance books. Are we surprised here? I hope not. <laughs> And then I also went to Target. I also got three books from there as well. And I literally got a clip of how good the pricing were after the discounts. Literally all these books were like $9, which the regular price was like $14, $15. So the first book I got is a Colleen Hoover. I'm sorry, every month I have to read a Colleen Hoover book or I will get in like the worst reading slump. But that's what happened to me in August, I believe. So I got Confess because they had a buy two get one free and I was like I need that. So I got Confess and I'll read the synopsis because I don't even know what this book is even about. So Aubrey Reed has lost everything important to her. In her fight to rebuild her shattered life, she has goals in sight and there's no room for mistakes. But when she walks into a Dallas art studio in search for a job, she doesn't expect to find a deep attraction to the enigmatic artist who works there. Owen Gentry. For once, Auburn takes a chance and put her heart in control, only to discover that Owen is keeping a major secret from coming out. Okay, both of these books have secrets. What's going on? Um, the magnitude of his past threatens to destroy everything Auburn loves the most, and the only way to get her life back on track is to cut Owen out of it. To save their relationship, all Owen needs to do is confess. But in this case, the confession could be more destructive than the actual sin. Okay, sounds interesting enough. It's not like a big book. It's only like 200, 306 pages. I also decided to pick up this book, <laughs> which is another Colleen Hoover, but it is a, um, I think it's like in the maybe, maybe someday series, which is maybe now. And I also know there's maybe not. I honestly wasn't like the biggest fan of maybe someday because of like the cheating tropes, but I decided to pick this up as well because I need to know what happened. Okay. Um, and this basically picks up right after maybe someday ends. So I'm going to read the synopsis real quick as well what is more important friendship loyalty or love picking up right where maybe someday left off bridge and sydney are in love and in awe of finally being able to be together guilt-free okay okay as the two of them navigate what that means warren and bridget's relationship is as tumultuous as ever and maggie grapples with her illness Determined to live life to the fullest, Maggie decides to jump out of a plane and meets Jake, a cardiologist with a penchant for tandem skydiving. While getting ready for their post-jump date, Maggie com comes across an old list of things she wanted to do maybe one of these days and decides what's a better time than right now. As Maggie keeps Bridge updated on her adventures, he continues to worry about her health and safety. With every text Maggie sends, it becomes harder for Sydney to feel okay with Ridges. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew this was gonna happen. You lose them how you get them, okay? But if she's going to move past this, she'll need to reconcile how she and Ridge came together with the fact that Maggie will always be in their lives somehow or end up walking away from the man she loves so much. 
This long-awaited sequel to the New York Times best-selling Maybe Someday series brings back all the characters readers fell in love with in the first novel. So that's basically the synopsis for Maybe Now. Honestly, it's kind of, I feel like it's going to be predictable, but I'm also very interested to see, like, what really happens, what's going on, like, Sydney girl should have thought about that before you got with this man and then the last book i got in my haul is the american roommate experiment by elena armis and i got this book because i read the spanish love deception it was like one of my first books that i read once i started like my reading journey when i got obsessed with reading and that book was like so spicy and it was like slow burn and it gave me all the butterflies and it's honestly one of my favorite books that i read this entire year and so when i saw that she had a new book i had to get it also has an illustrated cover which i'm not the biggest fan of illustrated covers because they can kind of look a little bit corny i feel like but this one's doable i kind of like this one so let's read what it's about sometimes love just needs a little inspiration rosie graham has a problem a few actually she just quit her well-paid job to focus on her secret career as a romance writer, only to enter a creative slump. Then, the ceiling of her New York, New York apartment literally crumbles on her. She heads to her best friend Lena's apartment. Girl, I just realized we know Rosie Graham from Spanish Love Deception, okay. She heads to her best friend Lena's empty apartment, not knowing that Lena has already lent her studio to her cousin Lucas who Rosie has been stalking for lack of a better word on Instagram. To Rosie's surprise, Lucas offers to let her stay with him, at least until she can find some affordable temporary housing. Soon, Rosie discovers that Lucas is intent on coming to her rescue like a Spanish knight in shining armor. Only this one strolls around this place in a towel, has a distracting grin, an irresistible accent and comes with a set of mad cooking skills okay when lucas learns of rosie's writer's block he proposes an outrageous idea to bring back her literary muse and meet her deadline okay this sounds so freaking good i'm really excited i hope it's like i hope it has all the same vibes as spanish love deception i have a lot of faith in this i have a lot of faith in all my books but like this book in particular i'm really excited for that's pretty much it for my book haul i'm really excited to read all these books if you haven't subscribed yet definitely go ahead and subscribe to me and also leave a comment down below what's on like your november tbr because i want to know thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much see you guys next time Ooh, i'm gonna pull up study to the side she keep coming at me every day and night when I left them, my life started feeling right Yeah, yeah, ooh These days I do anything I like It's a ch- it's salad